<laughs> Building Entrepreneurs Today is a program of Diamond Bank, one of their corporate social responsibility initiatives aimed at generating interest in entrepreneurship. It started in 2010. The bank has partnered with Enterprise Development Center of the Pan African Pan, Pan Atlantic oh, University. Pan Atlantic University in training and nurturing micro, small, and medium scale businesses under the BET program. Now, it's an annual capacity building and business venture, but all that English. <laughs> Let's, oh, get that's English. <laughs> Let's get to the practical because we have one of the coordinators and then we have some of those people that they have brought forth. You will hear some of the things, the amazing things. And, uh, I wish I could tell you. I am exactly. impressed. Anyway. I am really impressed. Well, well, it's a pity you can't see what the things that are impressing me. <laughs> but I can tell you for free that Nigeria is coming of age. You know all this talk about buy Nigeria and people are saying, well, you can't get good quality. That is a fallacy. They don't know. They don't know where to go to. If you look, you will find the quality that will compare with anything you bring in from anywhere in Did the world. Did you say compare? Sometimes even better. To, you mm -hmm. just have to look. Okay, so... Well done, Diamond Bank. Thank you. Diamond Bank's representative, Ndideka, is some... Is some Mm -hmm. See, I missed it up again. <laughs> Please do it again. <laughs> You're good. I go. I'm good. <laughs> See, I thought I knew it. Okay. Also, she's a representative of Diamond Bank, and beside her is Abiodun Falawio. Thank you. Good morning. Then on this other side, two young ladies, Hawa Bello and Uchechi Arinze. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Okay, now let me just give you a piece of it. How Bello makes, well, handbags. 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 Uchechi makes clothes. So that's why they're sitting together. They go hand in hand. Handbags and... While Biodun makes shoes. I wonder why you came with these ones that just do bags, shoes and clothes. <laughs> well, they're the three winners. We have uh, five winners um, at the end of the... Um, it's not a competition, really. It's a CSR um, program for the bank. And... Um, we have five winners at the end of the program. So we have three here. Three Shoes, of the five out of the five winners. Clothes. Yes. What do the other two do? Um, an agriculturist and a nice city person. Nice yes. city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. All fantastic avenues to diversify the Nigerian economy. Precisely. Okay. So tell us why uh, about the BET program? Well, the BET program, like you rightly said, the building entrepreneurs today. We've had the program for over five years. This is the sixth season. Um, it's a social respons uh, corporate social responsibility event for us, and uh, we use it to build up the economy, empower the economy, build our own, and get us to create employment for people. Because um, let's use somebody like um, Hawa. She'll have like 20 or 30 workers. So it's a value chain for us. We're empowering people, and the empowering people and we're helping the economy to grow. So we're trying to make sure that people realize that it's better to invest in our own and to empower people. Once you empower people, you're empowering the nation. Okay, uh, when I'm you say, when you, sorry, when you said Hawa has a uh, employment uh, base of about 20, I'm looking at her and I'm wondering, she looks like she's 18 years old. So how, <laughs> how does she control 20 employees? She does. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Okay. Um, meanwhile, do remember that you can join the conversation. Our Twitter handles are on the screen at Sunrise CTV, at Lera underscore Edu, and at Neo Taigbe. Let us know what you think about entrepreneurship in Nigeria, buying Nigerian made goods, and the BET program. Another segment we'll be getting into. So, staying with you uh, before I get to them, I want to finish all the Oibo. Yes. English, <laughs> then we can go to the practical. Yes. So, Every year, um, we understand that there's a review of the criteria every year for those that come on board. So tell us what, what the criteria is like and what, has it changed from what it was last, last time till now? Yes, it's changed. Last year, we had ICT, we had lifestyle, we had agriculture. We need to keep changing it just to encourage all sectors of the economy to participate. So it's, it's the focus that yes. moves every yes. year. Yes, yes. Okay. So for this year, we are going into education, health, and agriculture. For us, agriculture is consistent. We have to mm -hmm. keep having agriculture almost every other year. 
But based on what's happening in the economy, the fact that, you know, medical tourism, we need to improve our health sector, we need to improve our education sector, we decided that this year, let's change the focus and, and do health, education ag and agriculture. So that's what we're doing this year. Mm. Health, education and agriculture. Mm. All right, let's come back to the finishing up of the English practicals. Biodo, yeah. tell us about your experience at the BET. <laughs> Well, for me, it was um, mind-blowing. Uh, well, I've been doing this for over 15 years now. Doing what? BET? No, 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 no. She's been making it for about 15 years now. Um, I felt like I just started last year when I, was, um, when I applied for BET, especially with the training that um, I, I went through for over three months. You know, oh. I was able to understand my business better. I was able to restructure my business. Uh, my member of staff knew something has happened to me mentally. It wasn't. It was. It was. It was actually a paradigm shift. It was. It was a mental revolution for me that I could actually do more. They made me see um, better things about what I do and how I can always get better. So it was. It was. It was. It was a total turnaround for me. How okay, how are? Um, just to add on to what uh, Biojun said, it was a life-changing experience for me and my business. Um, I've been doing what I'm doing for eight years, a little over eight years, but just like he said, I felt like my business is really just a few months old. What were the things BEC. that you learned that were so uh, impactful after um, well, you left the training? <laughs> well, first of all, um, the, tr the training, that, that's the catch. For BET for me it's not the prize money at the end of the day or, or the win money if you wish it's the training you get so for three months we went under a grueling intensive training in strategy in operations in customer service in every sector that you need to address when growing a business most of us went into business just oh well we're, we're good at something and we're just going to see if we can get paid for being good at what we're good at by the end of the day we realized that if you don't put structures in place if you don't follow certain things the way that they should be laid out, then your business will not grow at the rate that you'd like them to grow. So for the first three months, it was intensive, it was grueling. There were 50 of us that had the opportunity to experience this. Um, and then afterwards, they had to choose the top 15. And we were lucky to be amongst the top 15. And we further wanted to train even more. So wow. we stayed back for three more months. Wow. Grueling training. We had, we were each, each of us were attached to a consultant. We all had different consultants, by the way. Um, so we would work hand in hand, very close to the consultant, and he or she would advise on how to grow our businesses better. And during the course of the six months in total, we were at EDC. You could, I personally, I saw growth from um, September, we started from September to when we finished in April. My revenue tr more than tripled. Mm. I mean, in the beginning, I, I was selling, in a good month, I would sell 50,000 hour worth of product. At the end of the day, my revenue now is times 20 of that. So it, um, mm. it's amazing. Wow. I can't emphasize the importance of this program. Um, I mean, every investor you want to talk to talks money. They'll ask you, okay, how much are you making? So now confidently I can approach an investor or a bank or a, a family member that wants to put money in and say, this is, this is where I was before EDC and this is where I am after EDC. And just to quickly add, after the training, we got money. So, I mean, you can't top that. If we had gotten money before the training, we would have squandered that money. But because we were taught the right way to run our business, the money yeah. just it, it came the at the right time. Yeah. So yeah. I can't emphasize how impactful this training was. And the money was as icing on the cake. Uh, okay. So you're doing a calculation we of 50,000. No, uh, how did this impact <laughs> you? <laughs> <laughs> Biodo and how I've basically said everything, but one of the most important things no, for me... your personal yeah, business, I know. Your, your business. Uh -huh. One of the most important things for me was going into BT was because I've never had business training. I'm a creative. I've always been about fashion, style. So going into the training, I was thinking, would I be able to... How, would, how is this going to translate to my business? But it was organic. From the first month, I started being accepted into fashion shows I would never have been accepted into. I got to showcase at the biggest fashion show in Nigeria last year, and I know it was because of BT because now I have confidence. Before, I could never just sit down somewhere and be talking about my business. If, 